sound is going to be the most epic one yet. I don't even know where to begin. Filled with can't-miss surprises. Oh, my God! Ooh. And special moments trending coast to coast to coast. <laughs> you're a 10. You're a dime. Oh, stop. Because if you're talking about a Canada, you know we are, too. What is going to happen if we showed in a book? Ooh, we just <laughs> opened up another can of Celebrate a decade with us. Tune in for season 10 of The Social. Well, it's hard to believe, but the national show, The So Show, is celebrating its 10th season. The show, which was winner of the 2020 Canadian Screen Awards for Best Talk Program or Series, all kicks off this week. We are so lucky to grab some time with co-hosts Cynthia Lois and Lainey Louie this morning to get the lowdown on what viewers across the country can expect. Good morning to the both of you. Hello. Hello. Uh, you know what, uh, watching that promo, I was loving the outfits. I always like to see what you guys are wearing every single day so I can just have my inspiration for the next day. But this is so exciting. Uh, first of all, we're back in front of a live studio audience. So how exciting is that after two years of adapting to a pandemic? I mean, it's just been it meant everything to us. Like we got into this business, I think, to communicate and to connect with people. And during the pandemic, obviously all of us were doing our jobs from home. It was really disheartening on so many levels. But for us, we also had all these technical issues that we had to <laughs> battle through. So to just be with each other again in real time and then also to have the audience is just it's just really brought a whole new energy back. Right, it makes sense. And Lainey, I want to talk to you about kind of the banter and uh, the relationship between the hosts, because I was fortunate enough to be on the show one time, and uh, it just seems like there's such a great connection between all of the hosts that are on the show. So talk to me about that relationship and being able to be beside one another again as you do this show. Well, we're, we're friends, so we aren't just together on camera, <laughs> but oftentimes we're together off camera. And that really is the foundation, is our care and respect for each other. Um, and I do think that that is what audiences respond to, that these are four people who are very different, but who can still find ways to relate to each other. Mm -hmm. And that's representative of, I hope, our relationship with the viewers, that we are all different, that they're different from us, but in some way, maybe for an hour, um, every day, Monday to Friday, we're all connecting in, 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 in a special way. Yeah, and you're right. You take on some hard topics. Uh, you know, you discuss a lot of things between uh, everyone who's there, always seeing the different opinions. It's fascinating to me. Uh, Cynthia, can you talk to me about some moments that have really stood out to you over the years? I think there's a video coming up where your crush was revealed to, to one of my crushes as well. <laughs> yeah, of course. I mean, there have been so many amazing moments. This one, of course, stands out to not only me, but I think our audiences. I have been, been a longtime fan of Jason Momoa, <laughs> and of course in Aquaman but he uh, I'd spoken about him a number of times on the show and then we found out he was going to be on the show so one of our brilliant producers put together a compilation <laughs> yeah. of my most ridiculous statements that I said a lot of them were quite inappropriate as well and then they played it for him and he was a great sport about it and it was embarrassing but it was also obviously one of the most memorable moments we've ever had on the show. There's nothing like having a mic on while you uh, chat about things and having it thrown back in your face afterwards. <laughs> That's so great. Now, you know, like I mentioned, I am a viewer of the show. I also was so honored to join you guys once on the panel. And even then, I felt the pressure of looking at these issues and trying to think of all Canadians' perspectives. So, uh, Lainey, can you talk to me about some of the responsibility that comes with the role as we do delve into these topics? I think the biggest responsibility is to be honest. Um, for, for us, we do this every single day. and. It's hard, there is pressure, I agree with you, to feel that you have to rep represent everybody. But the thing is, is that I think what we have tried to do is just have our own voice. Mm. Um, and be four women who have their own voices. That uh, in and of itself is radical uh, for us at least to, to be in this profession, to have a platform, to be able to speak our minds, even though our opinions might not be popular, even though people might disagree with us. So I think that is the key, is to approach every topic with honesty. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it makes sense and so beautifully said. Before we have to go, uh, Cynthia, what can people expect? Any hints for us? I think this, this week in particular is going to be very celebratory. Uh, it's a big milestone that we've hit, and I think it's not lost on us that we're four women who 
who've been together in a time when the industry is always changing. So um, I think we're going to have some giveaways. There's going to be some mm. special guests, maybe some familiar faces that people remember from earlier seasons. Um, yeah, you got to tune in. Oh, absolutely. Will do. Thank you so much for your time and congratulations. 10 years. It's such an incredible feat. I appreciate both of your time this morning. Thanks, Thank you. Girl. Thank you so much. You can catch the social daily at 1 p.m. on CTV, as well as continuing conversations on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, of course, and the social podcast on iHeartRadio.